so hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video you're gonna see me changing to the Nandara's makeup look from Ira where she wears sari like this type and it's really for me <clears throat> I just I didn't even plan I just thought of doing it just now and I'm, I just got ready like so uh, so that I couldn't able to grab any jasmine flowers and coordinated jewelries but I'm sorry for that but still we're gonna get the makeup look out in a perfect way so just keep on watching for the video now we are gonna apply some moisturizer from Nivea and we are gonna put that into our skin and blend a little bit. Then next I'm going with a biotic under eye cream which is basically I'm just going with under eye areas. Uh, this really needs a little bit of moisturizer extra because uh, this is a dewy kind of a foundation that I'm gonna wear it today. And then with the lip balm we are done with the preparations and then we are going with the music flash gel liner as usual to say i have already filmed an in-depth video on eyebrows which is of three kinds if you are a beginner or if you are an advanced stage whatever you can also watch the three types of videos which is uh, three types of eyebrows in a video so you can watch that after uh, finishing this or you can also go ahead and uh, see on my channel next with the spoolie we are completed with the look on the both eyebrows and next we are going with the color essence eye gel liner actually so i'm basically going to uh, outline my uh, tight line areas near to the eyelashes areas basically eye lining okay then we are going with a sponge which is in the brush if you don't have this kind of a brush you can go with the cotton bud earbuds so that uh, helps in smudging it this kind of thing so otherwise you can also prefer your fingers for this and next i'm taking the nikak palette and taking the brown color shade and i'm gonna pack this onto the eyelids uh, below the crease area in this way it just uh, avoids smudges and other things next with the same color essence eye gel liner we are going to put that onto the waterline area and below the waterline area and we are gonna smudge it with the same brushes and then we are going with the again with the brown color eyeshadow we are gonna set this because this really uh, smudges in time so we really need a powder to set this otherwise you're gonna happen to be a polar beer kind of a look uh, this is this way I just finished my second eye as well and next we are going with the L'Oreal Paris false lash superstar mascara which has two wands one is a white which is uh, helps in giving you a volume and next we are going with uh, other side which is a black one and and when you apply this the white one can disappear so that way it helps in boosting your volume of your eyelashes i do not prefer going with the lashes for nainthara's look but even she wears lashes but for me it just looks different when i wear lashes that's why and then i'm just gonna be using this primer from lacme blur perfect one and i'm gonna blend this onto my skin for the next base to set so after this we are going with the nika skin genius foundation and i'll put all the products in the description box below with a skin tones as well because i forgot what skin tone it is i mixed a little bit of moisturizer into the pan and i'm gonna apply this onto the face don't think pan is dirty it's just a powder uh, and then i'm just gonna put all the products remaining which is into my skin i'm gonna blend this with the brushes from ph cosmetics if you wanted to know what brushes i'm using i'm using ph cosmetics special edition ones I have already done a review on that you can go check it out if you wanted to know what brush I'm using this is a very much my favorite ones nowadays so I'm just gonna blend this onto my foreheads and wherever you wanted to do this so I'm just blending in a typical way where we all blend and then we're just gonna put that a little bit I'm just gonna blend this right into my skin so that it doesn't looks flawless so that way and after this I'm just gonna see whether uh, with the sponge I'm just gonna blend this because you know uh, it just picks up the extra products that's why and then we are, with the drift over foundation itself I'm just gonna put that onto the under eye areas and wherever you wanted to highlight you can now highlight with the same foundation itself and if, and I just felt like this just gives a plain look if I doesn't 
if you use the same foundation itself so i just went ahead and uh, i'm just gonna add this uh, onto the chin and all the areas wherever i wanted to highlight like her uh, for a little bit of highlighting i'm just gonna use this chamber it's really a light color foundation that's why i don't use it in all kinds of videos but uh, i just use this to uh, whiten up my skin tone that is why i just prefer this so i'm just gonna put that and blend that all together with the foundation itself so make sure the foundation blends with the concealer very very much uh, so that it just doesn't looks like it's separate and that one is separate so that you need to get, take care when i'm doing this kind of makeup and then with the sponge we are gonna remove the excess because i know i have a little bit added extra uh, that's why i'm just going with the uh, sponge and i'm just gonna take the extra products and i'm just gonna set this with the mac nc 43 compact powder like so uh, only on the under eye areas when uh, t-zone areas and onto the chin because that's where i just get a lot of sweats when i just go out and this way uh, with the extra remaining products i'm just gonna put that onto the neck and i'm just gonna blend this as usual so this way we are completed with the foundations and base uh, next we are going with a blush so this Nainthara's blush is not so easy like uh, smiling and doing it but it just starts from the base of our cheeks so this is how they do the brush uh, blush actually so that way i'm just doing it up and building it with the sponge and after that i'm removing the lip balm out of from my lips and then we're going with a Miss Claire 51 or 57. I'm not sure. Just check it out onto the description box and taking a wet and well coral corruption and I'm adding it. Then with the Bindi, I don't have, so that's what I just do with the lipstick. And then with the makeup revolution highlighter, I'm just gonna highlight onto the areas of my high points of cheeks, brow bone, and also to the nose as well, but I didn't show this. Uh, especially this highlighting is a most important step in her makeup and highlighting your cupid's bow is a very very important because you know to look like her, her cupid's bow is strong and you need to put your cupid's bow into a strong point that's how you will finally look like her so this is the completed look guys how do you like this do you like this or not let me know down below the comment section and see you guys on my next video keep supporting me bye take care